You guys ride wear riding protection there when riding a horse? I did fall several times from horses. It's, it's painful. <laughs> Last live stream, maybe a, it was longer ago than that. You were talking about how you love to go horseback riding and how you've been. And I was talking to Muley, I think it was. And she was quite uh, frightened about going horseback riding for the first time. So my question is, in your opinion, how many Ukrainian ladies like to go horseback riding or have been horseback riding? Have have been quite a lot. Like many friends of mine, they as well, if not uh, professionally, yeah, they from childhood like have used to have this horseback uh, horseback riding. Uh, so at least it's very popular, and almost all ladies adore horses. And if it would be just a walk on the horse, or even just to visit some place with the horses, when you can, you know, just touch and pet and uh, like hug them or treat them with some apples or sugar. Mm, that's already nice for ladies, very nice entertainment. And uh, like many ladies, I believe they will like this. I remember you told me that you're into horses like a real cowboy. I believe that it's a very, very good skill for a man and you can make a wonderful surprise for lady. Doesn't matter about her past experience. Does she have this love to horses or never had this experience i believe that she majority of women they will be happy to have this experience just because horses are just amazing animals i agree i agree very much i think uh galloping over the land on the back of a horse is about as close as a person can come to flying without actually being in a plane of course it's difficult, physically difficult, and uh, of course, lady need to uh, cope with a huge education, right? How to handle with the horse because need to make many small steps before she can actually ride because she oh, need to of course, of course. she yeah. need to she need to use how to control the animal and to it's not a car when everything quite predicted if you will do everything manually yeah, by technique by rules with the horse is a bit different because horse can be scared of some sound of some animal of something yet yeah, your behavior uh, its behavior can be unpredictable and uh, it, it can be dangerous. Of course, you need to have some equipment to protect yeah, your back, your head. But um, so it it just takes some effort, but uh, it would be welcomed to try to learn. You, you, you guys, you guys ride wear riding protection there when riding a horse. Uh, yeah, in schools, of course. Oh, in helmet school. In school, mm. yeah. Helmet for sure. For well-skilled people, it's not that necessary, especially if you're the owner of the horse. Of course, you can do whatever you need. But in Ukraine, in Poland, here I could see as well. Uh, so schools with the horseback riding, um, they uh, you have helmet, and uh, as well can be some protection uh, for uh, back. Yeah, mm. because mm. you can fall. I did. I did fall several times from horses. It's, it's painful. <laughs> no, it's I, dangerous. <laughs> I, 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 I guess in in school it's very understandable. It's it's a bit like uh, bull riders wear here. You know, the the back and the head uh, protection. That that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. But uh, then when you like uh, used to have these lessons and you already understand how to control the horse, of course, uh, your appetite growing and you want to escape from this school and go somewhere to the forest or to the field and to feel this freedom. <laughs> and exactly there uh, can be a lot of dangerous moments if you didn't grow, grow up on the horse, yeah, with all the skills from childhood. Good. Then, of course, you need to have good skills from school and some protection and be like okay to handle with the horse and wild conditions. I don't know if you can ever truly say that you control the horse. I, 
I was riding a horse. This has been many years ago. I was riding a horse with my grandfather. And it was a very well-tamed horse, very well-mannered, very wonderful horse. Couldn't ask for a better horse. But once we were uh, walking up in the mountains on a trail, and a snake slithered out. And I, I don't know, the horses hate snakes. And so even though it was very controlled and very well-mannered and that, it spooked it. And it reared up and bucked me off. So I, I would say... It's not so much controlling the horse because I don't know if that's ever truly possible. But you learning can't control how to... the moment when the horse is scared of something. Of course, you can't control. No. So any uh, loud um, sound can happen. Yeah? Uh, any animal like a snake or whatever can appear on the way, and you can't control this. The only thing you can do is to know how to like cope when the horse is scared and uh, how to stay in the seat. <laughs> this is your main goal, to stay on the seat. <laughs> or how to land on your feet if you can't stay in your seat. By the way, oh, I, mean, I, never, I never was able to do that. I always no, fall uh, down on the side, not on my feet, believe uh, me. <laughs> that, that, that could get very uncomfortable very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, some traumas, of course, but every sport you can receive some traumas, you know. By the way, I, tried, you... I, I learned in back in Ukraine some years ago, I tried at the school, uh, like not just to ho horse riding, but this concour as well, when we had to jump through this, you know, concour, um, like sticks, sticks on the field, which are like one meter. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Sticks, yeah, sticks above the uh, land. And uh, yeah, I tried. It's amazing, interesting, wonderful when you're okay with the horse. Yeah. Mm. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Привет. And welcome to UkraineDating.tv. Now you have the opportunity to video chat free seven days a week with different beautiful Ukrainian girls of all ages and walks of life. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's it. I'm all yours. So I, I brought flowers. Wow, it's so beautiful! You get to ask all your deepest burning questions about all things Ukraine. And if you come to enough of our live streams, you might just discover what makes us mysterious Ukrainian women tick. Okay, so we will see you live every day over at ukrainedating.tv.